Hey kids, what's happening? We are uh, obviously camping again. It's the first morning we have risen since we got here last night, but last night was a real, real experience. Those are my clothes hanging up there, drying out. Uh, because uh, And here's the canopy. I have to try to put that together. We had a nice roaring campfire going last night. I'm going to tell you what. It literally poured, poured down torrential rain. It was one heck of a storm. I had to release the corners of the canopy and let the tent flip back or it would have destroyed our frame. I put the fire out. There was a river of water running down through here. The wind blew our chairs over. They were laying here in the water. <laughs> I had the uh, compartments open and the water was pouring in those. And then <laughs> I had my tailgate open on the truck. The wind caught this tonneau cover and flipped it all the way up against the cab. Now luckily no damages there but whoo what a storm what a storm so after I salvaged what I could I was soaked soaked to the bone and retreated back inside our fort here so now my challenge is to get a fire going get the tent set back up again and make the best out of today well, we have recovered somewhat from the big storm we had last night. Did you get wet last night? I, the back of me was soaked to my shirt, my pants, all the way to my underwear. So we were sitting over there under the canopy, and it was just, you know, a pretty decent day. The sun was even shining, mm -hmm. and uh, all of a sudden it started to rain, and it just very quickly progressed into a full-blown thunderstorm. I thought we were going to lose the canopy. We both ended up, she, she ran into the trailer as fast as you right. could. and I got soaked just running from the canopy to the picnic table over here. <laughs> I got even more soaked though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to lose that canopy. It was it was really flexing bad in the storm. So I ran over there and I, I, I released two of the corners and the whole top just flopped back. and was blowing like a flag but that saved the frame from getting all twisted and bent up but right now I got a makeshift clothesline in here I've been drying my clothes we got a fire in here and the heat is kind of blowing right in here and uh, <laughs> they're drying out I mean these things were so soaking wet they were dripping so but they're they're almost dry not quite yet <laughs> the weather it's been gray all day and we got the view of what's coming towards us and it's just gray skies and clouds and it's kind of a misty rain coming down right now yeah yesterday when we got here it was in the 80s i mm -hmm. swear it was 83 87 yeah. something like that the rain came and it dropped to 71 it was so cold then being <laughs> wet and yeah cold. yeah Everything, everything got wet. A pretty good storm. Another adventure to chalk up to our camping yeah, trips. it's always an adventure with you. <laughs> we visited with Sean and Marilyn, our old camping friends. They lived down here, built a beautiful home. And they brought their two puppies by. We got to meet them. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah, we don't have dogs of our own, but it's fun when we can kind of like play around with their dogs and enjoy their dogs but then when it's time to go okay see ya <laughs> and they took their dogs with them <laughs> that puppy loved you buxton yeah he was so cute he was full of a ball of energy yeah only six months old yeah what kind of dogs were those oh buxton was a king cavalier Spaniels? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the other one was a Cocker Spaniel. Uh -huh. 
and one of their dogs was real old and and not doing very well so that dog was very subdued and just laid down by our feet but the puppy who what a ball of energy I, know. <laughs> I could not handle a puppy no so the funny thing was you know we thought we were going to be able to sit out here and eat pizza and you know have a beer or whatever and with camp being pretty much destroyed by the storm we all ended up going inside dogs and everything so they were good though yeah they were so good yeah the, the puppy yeah the the puppy got a a, a little rambunctious there but uh, it was all fun we he enjoyed loved it you. <laughs> he, he laid did. on itchy's chest and was licking him he just <laughs> thought he was the greatest <laughs> Yeah, he kept licking, licking, licking. It was pretty <laughs> hilarious. Well, we're just going to sit around and enjoy ourselves because that's what this is all about. You know, just taking time to uh, relax and, and enjoy. To rejuvenate. Yeah. No chores, no jobs to do here. You just enjoy life. We got in there fried potatoes yeah and ribs we always like to cook good food at least one night while we're out camping so this is our gourmet meal for today ribs and potatoes sorry for the air conditioner noise <laughs> makes a lot of racket in here One of the things we like about this place is the view that you get out here and we always come to see the sunset. When you come this time of year though, the sunset is here and if you come later in the fall, the sun sets over there. So you have a much better view of the sunset in the late season than you do now in June. Check out the clouds up there. Still pretty though. Yeah. Does look like it's something from the angels, huh? Mm -hmm. Like they were flying along. It just left the stream behind them. It's pretty neat because our camper is like right there, and we come over to the edge of this embankment. It drops down into the uh, lower campground, but we're up on the high ground, and we got this gorgeous, gorgeous view. Campfire time. Just that time of evening that's real pretty. We've got our sunset over there. Gorgeous. We've got our campfire here, nice and warm. I've got a beautiful wife over here. <laughs> you need your eyes checked. She's working on a very hard, intricate uh, crochet piece here. And she's crocheted hearts in there. Yeah, they're called linked hearts. So she's making a whole blanket there and she's put a lot of work into that that's pretty cool pretty proud of her we're gonna chill this evening we got our little lights up here and got everything real cozy gonna kick back by the fire and hope the bugs don't bite huh right right <laughs>
it's the Dillon Dam, the reservoir dam. We're gonna go walk over here and take a look down in the spillway. Those rocks are cool. Yeah, like a gulch or a big chasm over there. This is the overflow spillway for the reservoir. Oh, over the hill and right over there is the reservoir. The reservoir. Which goes way up that way. Big lake. Great big giant lake. Dillon Dam we're at. Oh, and it's located in Nashport, Ohio.